Melbourne is an incredible food city and we're very excited to be here. We're filming a three-part series. We're going to be showing such neat places to eat. Local places, off the beaten path places. We used to live here so we know Melbourne very well. The food scene is incredible. We're going to eat so well while we're filming here. I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena. And we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. We're kicking off in South Melbourne. We're at the South Melbourne Market. This place has been around since 1867 and I love it here. It's full of colour, delicious fresh produce. There's some great delis, bakeries, coffee. We're here for pastry. We're going to Agatha Patisserie. This place does amazing French pastries. We're lucky we're here on a weekday because on the weekend, the line is locked, but it does move quickly. There's this great window where you can see all of the action in the kitchen. They're making the pastry, the pastry's baking, and now look at this. Hi, how are you? Look at this deliciousness. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you, see ya. And we're gonna grab a quick coffee to go with the, the pastries. Sit out here, it's a super sunny day, so I'm very much looking forward to these insane looking pastries and a cup of coffee. Look at this, what a way to start the day, sitting in the sun with a pandan flan in front of me. I couldn't resist, pandan is one of my favorite flavors. So I've got pandan egg custard in the middle of this croissant basket. This is what Agatha Patisserie is famous for. They do traditional French pastries with a twist. So you'll find flavors like pandan, ube or purple yam. Something a little bit different. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. So creamy. The pastry is super flaky, buttery. Did you hear that crunch? And then the flan, creamy as, and has a beautiful pandan flavor. If you've never had pandan before, before, it's like the vanilla of the East. So it's used to flavor a lot of Southeast Asian desserts. It is a stunning flavor. Oh, wow. Sitting here, pastry, hot drink. I'm a heavy woman. Pear, chocolate chip, almond, frangipani filling for me. Oh wow. Mmm. Mmm. A crack and crunch on the on the outside. Here is super juicy. A little chocolate hit. I like that. It's not overdone with chocolate. Mmm. That's delicious. What a way to start. Coffee from Clement. We've been coming here for years actually. I remember when we first moved to Melbourne, 2011, we were coming here. Always great coffee from these guys. Goes perfectly with this. Sitting in the sun, it's super balmy. What a way to start what's gonna be a massive day of eating. We've got an epic lineup today, and this is a really good start. Time for something a bit more substantial. We're heading to a place called Lulu's for Cha Kwe Tiao. One of my all-time favorite Malaysian dishes. We've heard Lulu's does a really good version. We're in the middle of the CBD now for this. Sitting in a laneway, how Melbourne can it get? Uh, this is a noodle dish we're having and it is very famous. In Malaysia, Singapore, it's one heck of a dish. And we are very excited. So excited. The menu's pretty succinct. They have seven different cha kwe tiao. I think we're just gonna go for the classic, Lulu's cha kwe tiao. Yeah, thank you. Look at this plate of goodness. When she brought the cha kwe tiao over, I could smell it when she was about a meter away. I could smell that wok hay. Wok hay is the breath of the wok. So that smoky, charred flavor of the wok infused into the noodles. So rice noodles, bean sprouts, chives, 
big prawns, lap tongue, which is Chinese sausage, egg, uh, what else? Crispy pork lard, super traditional. Mmm. Mmm. Holy moly. This is amazing. It's spicy, I asked for hot. And it is so full of flavor. There's a beautiful sauce in there. So the owner's mother-in-law used to be a hawker, a Chakwe Tiao hawker in Penang. And this dish is from Penang in Malaysia. And he uses the same sauce that she used back in the day. I can see why this place is so popular. Crunchy bean sprouts. That lap tongue was delicious. The pork lard just, you crunch into it and it melts in your mouth. Oh, a great plate of food. So this is what these videos about are about. Great food in Melbourne. We used to live here. We lived here for five years. It's actually where we started chasing a plate. And so we want to show you where to eat, some of our old favorites, as well as new places like Lulu's. This is definitely going to go on the must eat list every time we come back. And eating here means you get to tick off one of the great things of Melbourne, laneway dining. This particular lane, Hardware Lane, is probably traditionally more known for touristy restaurants and nighttime dining, but there's some real local places popping up and this is one of them, an absolute locals favorite. And I'm just watching Sheena eat this. Oh, I've got to get in. It looks so good. <laughs> Yum. That is full of flavor. That is so good. This is one of these dishes that you hunt. When you're in Malaysia, it's something you think about every day because you're trying to find the next one, the next one that's better than the last one. We lived in Malaysia for a year essentially filming for this channel. So we've eaten a lot of these and this is right up there. That punch of wok hay that Sheena spoke about. Delicious. It's so easy to get around Melbourne. We've just jumped on a tram, a couple of stops up towards the north, free tram, and we're heading to North Melbourne for our next spot. We're heading for Hainanese chicken rice comfort food and I have it on a very good authority from our food loving friends that Gai Wong is the place to come. So let's head in. Oh, that looks good. Wow. Oh, that looks real good. Oh my goodness. The rice. Oh, fragrant as. So this is the set, the Hainanese chicken rice set. So you've got poached chicken. It's just, you can tell it's gonna melt in your mouth. So that's served room temperature. Thank you so much. You've got um, a chicken broth there and then very important, the condiments. So spicy chili and then the ginger spring onion. This I cannot get enough of. This is comfort food. I've constructed the perfect mouthful. Rice, chicken, ginger spring onion sauce, chili sauce. Delicious. The chicken is moist as anything. The rice is so flavoursome. That chilli sauce isn't too spicy. Perfect hit of just a little tingle. And then that ginger spring onion sauce. It just is the icing on the cake. Oh, this is really great. This place is a family owned and operated business. And it's busy. It's just uh, on lunchtime and it is really starting to heat up. So this dish is something you find all over Singapore, Malaysia, Brunei. It is 
like classic hawker food. Mmm. Mmm. And this is a really great version. We have had a great afternoon exploring, but it's time for more food. There's so <laughs> much good food here. I'm gonna have burgers now. We're going to Butcher's Diner. So it's right up the top end of the city. So we've sort of we've covered a lot of the a lot of the city and in and out on the fringe of the CBD today. But there is just good food everywhere here, and these burgers look crazy good. To the burgers! Burgers! It's a very appealing place to walk into. It's sort of a hole in the wall sort of vibe. And look at this, Butcher's Diner. Just meat fridges lined up right through the back of the, of the restaurant. We got cheeseburgers all around, cold beer, some chips. It's gonna be good. How neat is this place? Sort of tunnel-like building, all those meat fridges up the back. We're right on Burke Street, which is one of the, the main cross streets here in Melbourne CBD. So you've got trams rumbling past, heaps of foot traffic, and these burgers look great. We went with the cheeseburgers, big stack of beef patty, cheese on top, we've got pickle, onion, tomato, lettuce, we got hand cut chips. Perfect burger. Mm-mm. Mm. 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 Yum. I'm a burger fiend. And very often I just want a burger that tastes like a burger. I don't want tricked up stuff going too hard out, being too over the top. And that's not that. That is a burger. Good meat the perfect amount of vegetables, the vegetables you want, the pickles there just to cut through the fat of the meat. We've got tomato sauce, mayo on there, slab of aged cheddar, works perfectly. And we had to get the hand cut chips. Mm. Mm. Match made in heaven, chips, burger, cold beer, what a great burger. That is good. And you're sitting here, one of the main roads in Melbourne, so you're right in the heart of the action. This place is open late too. I think midnight most nights or all nights. Place to come for just a simple but delicious burger. There is so much good food here in Melbourne. Remember, we're doing multiple videos on this trip, so check out the channel, subscribe. Check out the other videos. There is so much good food here. It's unbelievable the, the quantity and quality of food in Melbourne. A lot of what we're filming is here in and around the CBD or inner suburbs. And there is so much good food to be found. We're having a ball. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, let us know what you think. Let us know where you like to eat when you're in Melbourne or if you're from Melbourne. Can't wait to finish this burger and ice cold beer. Thanks for watching.